By now you should know our slogan, in search of America's best barbecue. Well, you know, it turns out that some of America's best barbecue comes from outside our borders. A perfect example is Don Pepe's Cuban Cafe in Altamont Springs, Florida. The restaurant is named for the owner's grandfather, who cooked in Cuba for sugarcane workers. Now, grandson Ruben Perez, that's him on the left, carries on the family tradition. Delicioso. At Don Pepe's, you'll find a mural of Havana Harbor, while this room evokes a Caribbean plaza. Multicultural also describes the menu. It's been influenced by Ruben staff who come from all over Latin America. Tell me about the fusion of Latin American uh, cultures cooking that you have at this restaurant that's, that's quite unique. Well, let's go back to the Spaniards. The Spaniards, uh, they spread their seed all over the New World, didn't they? Uh, and what's interesting about Latin cooking, you know, in Cuba, we, we cook with what we had indigenous to the island of Cuba. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, very similar the Caribbean. A lot of our food is very similar. Now you go to South America, Argentina has a huge European influence. Everybody had their, you know, what the Spaniards brought mixed in with their local culture. Uh, the Peruvians used a lot of potatoes. That's where potatoes are from, Peru. What we started doing here in the restaurant is started bringing in different types of Latin foods. We try to keep our traditional base of Cuban dishes, but we also have other dishes from Argentina, which is a churrasco steak, the paella, which is Spaniard, even though most Latin American countries make it. Uh, and that's what makes, to me, Latin food so interesting, you know. A lot of people think of uh, Spanish as Mexican because we grew up here in America with a lot of Mexican restaurants. Delicious food. I love Mexican food. I love hot and spicy food. But Cuban food is, is in Puerto Rican and Dominican food in the Caribbean. We use what's in the islands, a lot of roots and vegetables and herbs and spices. Uh, and we, use, uh, we don't use spicy, hot, you know, peppers like the Mexicans do. So if I were to explain it to the layman that might not be familiar with Latin food at all, say so think of Italian.